So Murray Sinclair, in the introduction of the of this book, uh, uh, this I quoted him uh, two paragraphs, uh, and I thought it was very telling. Uh, he says, the most alarming aspect of the system was that its target and its victims were the most vulnerable of society. Little Removed from their families and homes and communities, seven generations of Aboriginal children were denied their identity through a systematic and concerted effort to extinguish their culture, language, and spirit. The schools were part of a larger effort by Canadian authorities to force Indigenous people to assimilate by the outlying of the sacred ceremonies and important traditions. It is clear that residential schools were a key component of a Canadian government policy of cultural genocide. He goes on, this was in page VI6 on, in the introduction. The next quote, he says, the legacy can be seen in the myths, misunderstandings, and lack of empathy many Canadians openly display about Indigenous peoples, their history, their place in society, and their place in society. Canadians have been educated to believe in the inferiority of Indigenous peoples and in the superiority of European nations. This history and its path, therefore, should not be seen as an Aboriginal problem. It's a Canadian one. End of quote. 